Okay, now we're gonna take a look at F sharp minor. The notes of our F sharp minor scale is F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, and then back to F sharp. And to make our minor scale, we're just gonna take that major scale and flat the third, sixth, and seven. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do F sharp minor in our second position. Now there is a lead up note, the open E string. So let's incorporate that. And then once we get to our second fret is where we start on the root for F sharp. Okay, now on your sixth string, we'll go two, four, five. Fifth string is a two, four, five. Fourth string is a two, four. Third string is a one, two, four. Second string is a two, three, five. And first string is a two, four, five. And just wanna point out, second fret on your first string is your second octave F sharp. We're just climbing up a little bit higher. Okay, bringing it back down, we'll go four, two on the first string, five, three, two on the second, four, two, one on the third string, four to two on your fourth string, five, four, two on the fifth string, and then five, four, two on your sixth string. Okay, I'm just gonna do quarter notes and bypass the other rhythms, but I also recommend to work those too. Here's quarter notes on number one. I'm just gonna start right on the F sharp. One, two, three, four. Okay, for number two, we're gonna climb up into the next higher position. We're gonna go into our fourth position and I'm gonna use my index finger to kind of bump up. So for this one, if we start off on the sixth string, we'll go two to four with our index and then from here, five to seven. So that's index to index, two to four, and then five, seven. Okay, now I wanna point out, as we've been talking about, every minor key has a relative major, just like every major key has a relative minor. In the key of F sharp, our relative major in the key of F sharp minor, our relative major is built off the third note of our minor scale, and that's an A. So we're, once we get to our fifth fret, you're gonna see it's basically an A major scale. So relative majors and minors are great ways to help you memorize the neck and um, also run your scales too. Okay, so for number two, starting off, I'm gonna go two, four, five, seven on the sixth string. Then on the fifth string, it's a four, five, seven. Fourth string is a four, six, seven. Third string is a four, six, seven. Second string is a five, seven. And then on the first string, it's a four, five, seven, nine. I want to just point out we're going a couple notes higher than our second octave of A, which is on your fifth fret. Okay, now backing it down, we'll go seven, five, four on the first string, seven, five on your second string, seven, six, four on the third string, seven, six, four on the fourth string, seven, five, four on your fifth string, and then seven, five, four, two on your sixth string. Okay, here's that scale up and down, three, four. Okay, for numbers three and four, we're gonna connect our scales on one string. So for number three A on our low six string, we're gonna go open two, four, five, seven, five, four, two. For B, we're gonna go fifth string, two, four, five, seven, five, four. For C, we'll go four string, two, four, six, seven, six, four. For 4A on the third string, we'll go 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 6, 4, 2. For B on the second string, we'll go 2, 3, 5, 7, 5, 3. And then for C on the first string, we'll go 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 7, 5, 4. Okay, for number five, we're gonna ascend in our second position, take it up to our highest note on the first string, and then descend it down in our fourth position. One, two, three, four. For number 
sixth, we're gonna ascend in our fourth position, take it up to the highest note on the first string, take it down on the first string, and then descend in our second position. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to jam a little bit with an F sharp minor and do some F sharp minor scales. I'll do a little reggae feel. Some chords, scales. Back to some chords. 